Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for ya. I'm wearing my welcome t-shirt. This is um, the logo for the company I work for and today was Pride Parade and we walked. So I'm still wearing my t-shirt but I had some stuff I wanted to show you. I'm super excited. Uh, first our drink in my Dollar Tree lemon cup. I made some cold brew with vanilla. And I got Luna here. See if she'll come. Come here, Luna. My niece's dog is here. And I've got Alex sitting right here. Come here. You come in. Nobody's paying any attention to me today. All right, I got a pretty decent haul. Oh, well, we got one of them. Say hi. You want to say hi? This is Alex. He's my uh, three-year-old that I rescued. Mr. Wellington's over there. He's 13, I think, and Luna is on the back of the couch, and she's four. All right, so no, I don't have a dog, but when you see pictures of the dog in my videos, she belongs, come here. She belongs to my niece. I just happened to dog sit. Okay, there we go. And this is Luna. <laughs> She is a Chihuahua Terrier type blend, and she and the one behind me are so jealous of each other, but she'll make it. All right, you lay down here. Okay. All right, so let's start with some things I picked up. I, oh, sorry, that hurt. I have a trip coming up next year, a year, slightly less than a year from now. Uh, Sarah, my niece, some cousins, we're going to Ireland. And I decided, I love planning. I love trip planning, organizing, and all that. So part of my trip planning is I'm going to do a um, bullet journal. So I've already started it, but I wanted some stencils. I'm not really a good freehand drawer. So I found these. And at first I thought they were all the same, but they are not. Um, this one, I'm not sure if you can see, has letters. So just different letters. And I guess you just... Do it like that and you move your letter so you can leave your hand and it doesn't if you're using pencil and whatnot so this one is letters but they all have the same front so i really had to like dig this one has different feathers on it just all different feathers this one is owls i love owls so owls and then one says what does that say? Wisdom. And they're just stencils. This one has paisleys, all different paisleys on it. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six on this one. But like this one is two. Some of them are two, bigger, smaller. So you can just create whatever you'd like. And this is flowers. And I bought it for this tulip. I love that tulip. Could be a rose, but I'm calling it a tulip. Um... Yeah, that's definitely a tulip down there. So yeah, they were, and I thought they were all going to be the same, but they're not. So I got five different ones, and when I decide, you know, if I see any more, but I, I thought it would be fun to decorate my bullet journal and have some stencils. So I grabbed those for that project because it's very inexpensive. I have tons of washi tape, so that is not an issue. All right, some more t-shirts or more shirts. I grabbed this tank top. In the medium, it's a nice tealy blue for my little cousin. I'm not sure what size she needs, so I grab, I just grab these shirts when I see them. If not, she can use this as a night shirt. Um, but I like to use my Cricut, and I will be doing some Cricuting once I get my arm fully functioning. It just, like, it's sore, so I, things are taking me longer to do. But anyway, so when I see these t-shirts, I just grab them because they're a dollar. And this is a name brand, I'm pretty sure. This is Anvil. Now, these shirts here are Gildan, which I know is a name brand. And they're like that wickaway fabric. And this is not as bright as it's showing. Um, but this is just a red. It's a medium for my cousin. For her, her daughter's softball team is red, white, and blue. So I thought she would appreciate a red golf shirt. And then I grabbed this in navy blue uh, for me. For, for that one. I may decorate them. I may not. I'll see what she wants on there. But for a dollar, I'm going to pick up t-shirts and we'll find a use for them. 
I'm sore today. I took a spinning class yesterday and I'm not using my arms. I'm not standing yet, but just holding my arms straight on the handlebars is, it's tiring. It's sore. I'm, ugh, I'm tired of complaining, but <laughs> I, I will be okay. It's just a long, arduous process. All right. Anywho, more coffee because coffee makes everything better. And it's been chilly here. It's like 70 degrees out. Um, I grabbed some paper plates. First of all, can we look at this paper plate? It says Maison Blanc, 24 Rue Marie Paris, L lunch and dinner. So it's like a restaurant plate, but these are a nice sturdy plate and you're getting 18 of them for a dollar. And they say party on the back. Oh, it is a Greenbrier brand, but I feel like I'm gonna open it. Um, and again, I don't always use the paper. Yeah, it's not too bad. Definitely better quality than some. Technically, typically what I use these for is to feed the cats, wet food, um, or light snacks for me or something. So I don't need anything too sturdy and they just thought they were really pretty. I just thought that was super pretty. Okay, Luna, come here. Luna, hold on one second. All right, we're back. She gets very excited when the neighbors are out and their dog across the way. All right, so I found at my Dollar Tree this Sunbeam six outlet. So it turns two outlets into six, and these are great, especially like in my craft room. And for a dollar, I think that's a really good deal, and it is a name brand, and I love these. I use them different places in my house. Come here, Looney. Come here. Yeah, so I grabbed one of those, and they also have extension cords, but I didn't need any more. Um, my Dollar Tree sells these, which come in five packs of on-the-go, I already opened them because I ate one, of little tiny peanuts. But these are a great snack for me because anything that's portion controlled is great. And this is five carbs. So you really, peanuts are not that great for me, but they're very satisfying and get very satiated by eating a little bit of peanuts. Makes me feel full, so, and they're salty. So I grab these for on-the-go to have, you know, when I'm out and about. Um, and if you remember one of my other hauls, I got this in red and I found it in the green. So I'm all set for Christmas. And these are great, I love this. They make their really fine line to do like a French tip or to decorate your nail. And so I have a red and a green for Christmas. And I own a white and maybe a yellow. I don't know, but I like them. So I grab those when I see them. I picked up some scarves. Um, I grabbed two more of these. Um, the Buffalo Check. I love Buffalo Check for all the time. But I grabbed two more because I think they'll be great for decorating or just to have. Uh, because they're nice and thin, uh, they can be ironed out and used for lots of stuff. So I grabbed another set. So now I have two of each. They may make an appearance in Christmas in July. So I grabbed just, when I saw them, I grabbed those. Um, and then because, ugh, duh, who doesn't need this in their life? Can we talk about this scarf? They're cats with glasses. Cats with glasses, OMG. The only thing that would make this better is if they were like black and white cats and they're not and that's okay. They're blue and pink. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this cats all over it. Like what? Yeah. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I might wear it. I might not. They're not bad, especially for summertime. Um, I'm just not a hugely fussy person, but I may sew it together on the ends and just wear it or not. I don't know. We'll see, but I love it. Because why? Cats with glasses. I know, crazy. Ugh, my nails. Or my skin is like dry. Is that everything in that bag? Yeah. Okay. Then we have some, I got some of this poster tack. I've never used this brand before, um, but we'll see how it holds up. I was hoping it would hold those little coasters for my wall. Um, but I don't know. It's, you know, it's Dollar Tree brand. It's Jot. 
Um, I mean, it seems pretty sticky. We'll try it. I'm hoping it will hold up those little coasters. Um, yeah, so it's non-toxic, two ounces of just sticky stuff. And if you have any kids going off to college, grab it now because a lot of times they can't put um, tacks or nails in their walls in the dorms. And these work great for like posters, pictures, lights, Christmas lights, stuff like that. So I just grabbed one while I saw it. I picked up one more pack of this. I had purchased these erasers. These are the Pentel High Polymer. It's, they come with the block eraser and then the pencil end erasers. So I opened up and I started, like I said, doing bullet journaling and I needed to use the eraser to, when I draw in pencil and then go over it and marker, I erase the lines and this works excellent. So I grabbed another one to put in my nephew's Christmas bag. Excuse me, that was my coffee. Um, to put with his drawing kit that I'm making. And I will show you these kits in my uh, Christmas in July. All of the Christmas gift um, basket ideas that I have created so far this year. And I have right now for sure three. Plus I can show you what I have so far for the beauty advent calendar. So four. Um, but I grabbed these. This is a fabulous deal. And these work excellent. Better than the pink erasers. They're a little softer. They don't tear up your paper. But they definitely get rid of the pencil. So I grabbed those. Because um, he's a, an aspiring artist. And those are important. Um, I did run my dishwasher empty with one of these. This is a dishwasher cleaner. And it smelled so fresh and so clean. And all the kind of yuck came out and things. And it just really worked well. And so I grabbed another pack. So I have three months worth. I just thought for a dollar, that's a really good deal. And what else did I get? Oh, for Christmas in July, I picked up two packs. This is what you're looking for, for the condiment cups. And they come with lids and the little cups. And they're, these are 12, three fluid ounces. These are great for lunches too. But this is what I'm going to use when I create that advent calendar in Christmas in July. So if you see these, grab them. Um, they also have larger ones. I think they're four ounce maybe in the wedding section, but they're bigger. I've used those as well. Just you want to get 24 or 25 total. So I happen to have found two of the 12 packs and that's perfect for what I need. So I grabbed those. So Christmas in July items for my advent calendar. Um, I grabbed a pack of these headbands. They come with 10, which is excessive, but I just need for my bullet journal to hold it shut. I needed one or two of these. So I'm like, well, one for a dollar or 10. I grab these and I'll give the rest probably to my little cousin or something. I'll pick which one I think I like and I'll give the rest away. Um, but I want them to hold the notebook shut that I'm using. And I'll show you my bullet journal once I get a little more built into it. But these are great to hold. They have all different ones. But these are good, nice elastics to um, to hold them shut. Because this one didn't, the one I'm using didn't come with an elastic. So I grabbed one of those. And then the last thing that I, two things I got, three things, are beauty products. Um, for the man kit that I'm doing for like grooming, I found these at my Dollar Tree and the, probably for Father's Day. Um, but this is Old Spice, name brand. And it comes in three of these little packets and it's hair glue. Um, I use got to be hair glue that doesn't have a scent. This definitely has like a man scent to it, so I wouldn't use it, but it's called Deadlock. It is spiking glue. And the person that I'm doing the kit for will definitely use these. And it's a three pack, so I thought that was excellent deal now if you had a couple boys like three boys two boys whatever you could buy one of these break it up and put it in a stocking if they like to do their hair you know stand it up whatnot um the person i'm getting it for definitely uses it we both talked about it before that we use the same hair product um and when i saw that with the old spice brand i thought this was perfect and three for a dollar, that's 33 cents a piece. That's excellent. Especially for like a stocking for some young gentlemen who might enjoy that. 
I picked up a e.l.f. no wet and wild brand dual pencil sharpener um I have a lip pencil and an eyebrow pencil that I can't find my pencil sharpener so I just grab or my eyebrow sharpener so I grabbed a wet and wild brand one thought that would be excellent and then my exciting find which a couple of these are for me and then one is going for the beauty advent I purchased these lip stains these are a uh, max factor brand I'm wearing it now it's not lipstick it's lip stain so it's very light it stays on there's a little fruity taste to it I'm not sure if that's intentional it's interesting on the back it says this original product has been repackaged not under license by Chanel control merchants LLC so I don't know and then it says Max Factor is the owner of the registered trademark Chanel Control is an independent and under unrelated company and is not affiliated with Procter and Gamble. So I don't know what that means, but this is Max Factor. These are the lip stains, the three colors I found. They are not I don't think they're named. Yeah, this is just they're numbered. So this is number 2. And it's pretty dark berry on the label, but it's not that dark. So I grabbed one for Sarah. I got myself one. And then I got a brown and a lighter pink that I don't think she would enjoy. So I got myself two more. Because I, especially for summertime, I love a lip stain. And it looks like a marker. And you just draw it on. It sits for a minute. It does smell fruity too and then it dries and it stains your lips so it's very lightweight and that's who it's from and I thought these were exciting an exciting find I enjoy it she'll enjoy it as part of her 24 days of beauty that I'm putting together for Sarah and again during that week on Advent Day I will show you all of the Advent beauty products I picked up so far and what my plan is for that with her you know, between couponing and Christmas sales, I'm just going to stuff this bag, keep buying stuff that I see that I think she'll enjoy, and then come Christmas time when I'm ready, you know, around November, uh, maybe the end of October, beginning of November, I'll put her advent calendar together, and whatever doesn't make the cut for the advent calendar, I'll just give her in a stocking or put it in a beauty box. Um, but I want a different lip product, hair, makeup, fun stuff for her to open. She really enjoys beauty products, so that's what I'm doing but it's something I'm going to start collecting now because when I can find a dollar for a name brand lip product and I know she likes stains too that's perfect so that's what I'm doing for that and I think I think that is everything that I got this week I'm trying to dial back the Dollar Tree and just get the things that we need right Alex Right, buddy yeah he's cute um yeah so I'm gonna be getting some more DIYs out today I'm working on my macrame which is it's painful <sighs> the repetitive tying of knots I'm still sore I'm sore up in here um, I can show you I have if you can see those are it was arthroscopic surgery so what they do when I go to therapy is he takes like this butter knife thing and rubs it over these scars to break up any scar tissue and then they rub on my tendon so your my tendon was attached here they moved it over here and now it has to stretch and that's part of what's so painful is stretching that tendon it really doesn't want to stretch and then the muscle which I didn't use for two and a half months is very weak and atrophied and so I'm having to build up all of these muscles in the back of my neck and my arm my elbow and my forearm it is just painful I mean it is what it is and I have to do my therapies which I do I ordered on Amazon if anybody's having some shoulder issues um, a pulley system that you and I use it in therapy it was like ten dollars on Amazon um, you hook it over your door sit down and you, I will use this arm to straighten this arm. So it's a stretching technique and it feels so good to get this arm straight and get those muscles engaged. And for $10, heck yeah, I'll do it every day and it'll just help build the muscle. Alrighty, well I will talk to y'all later and you have a good one. Bye.